of a hancho. We're in Nairobi, Kenya, and for a living we run a campsite called Jungle Junction. Um, I grew up in India, therefore I didn't fit into Europe. Leaving Europe I had to find a place which I uh, felt comfortable living in and after 11 years on the road I stopped in Nairobi. As a traveler I passed through Nairobi twice, um, but I came here with a work contract for BMW and um, through that I started working here and um, I fell in love and started a family. Tell us something more about your travel in Africa. I went through um, West Africa, I went to Central Africa, I came to East Africa, I went to South Africa. Um, once you start moving it's difficult to stop. Jungle Junction is in existence since 2003. It is the junction between the jungle in the bush and the jungle in the city. So you're supposed to feel safe. You're supposed to have a place where you can uh, relax from all the stresses of travel. And it's supposed to be a place where you travel like-minded people. I believe it's very difficult for somebody who never traveled to know what travelers need. I believe we cater for the needs of travelers and we don't offer things people don't need. I think in your heart you are still a traveler. How does it feel to stay in Nairobi with a family? I came to the point where I traveled and I woke up in the morning and I didn't want to travel anymore. I thought to myself there must be more to life. Um, you're a young man, you want to prove yourself. It gets to the point you've been there, you've done it. Then the question is what is next? To run a business in Africa without a family you don't know why you're doing it. So family, your business, and once you've started, what do you do? You can't run away, so you stick it out. Which are the ingredients of a good independent traveler? I believe there are too many people that are not traveling, they are running away from something. So if you are in a certain scenario in your life where whatever happened and you believe the solution is to pack up, leave everything behind and go, you're going to wake up one morning and you can realize you can't run away from yourself. So as long as you want to go out there and find the unknown and be ready to mix with people, because that I think most people do wrong. They are so worried about their own safety, where to go tomorrow, is this working, is that working. Instead of going out there, whatever happens, happens and let people meet you. But uh, most people are running.